Hey guys, welcome to Clock Out Dandy Needles for a new breakdown on the show. Welcome to Spring 2024. I really hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves in the last season and now ready for the new shows that are coming our way. This is a new show, but it's also not a new show on the channel. I have broken down the original first episode of Bartender on the show, but you can go check it out on the Clipwork Rewinds if you want to see what I originally thought. Now I'm going to go into the show. I'm going to answer the big old question, did it need a remake? Is the remake actually going to help or anything? First episode is surprising. I've got a lot to say. Very excited to break this one down with you guys. It's also very nice just as well to have a show that I'm familiar with. But it's also to the point where it's not quite the same as I remember it. And that's a good thing. That's not always a bad thing if it's a little bit different. We are doing two different remakes on a show this season. But one of them I have never seen before. This is the remake where I get to be that person going, hmm, is it as good as the original? Hopefully you guys are looking after yourselves. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And we're going to get going. Let's first talk about the facts. Uh, when did the original actually air? The original aired in 2006, over 18 years ago. A very long time time ago now i did hear rumors around the mill that they remade it because drinks companies actually wanted them to remake it you will see them using proper beverages within the show and a few of them already already seen in this one in particular part of the charm on this one i think with a show like this it's nice to actually have something real that you can probably go and look into we keep calling them beverages so YouTube doesn't get angry. I do think from a standpoint that this show is actually quite educational. Obviously, 18 years in between the two, the graphics are, of course, the first thing we have to note is different. The voice actor is, of course, different as well. There is a lot of differences. Now, the first episode has cut a lot of the original out and it mainly focuses in on the setting up why we're here and what we're looking into. We're looking into trying to find a bartender for the hotel so that is what it mainly focuses in on so it cuts down a lot of that first episode the first episode originally had a bit more to it and you can check out what it initially had if you are interested in the original breakdown on my show i think the graphics are nice and shiny the op itself is very different as well it's got a modern song but it's quite traditionally set it sets the flow of the show it definitely centrally focuses in on the drinks looking absolutely gorgeous looking really pretty there's a nice bit of an overdub with the ice clinking against the glass really like that and of course it's supposed to feel chill it's supposed to be relaxing this is going to be our relaxing breakdown it's going to be nice and chill because that's the idea of this show well the original show was an episodic thing they have seemingly done away with the episodic thing but i think they're going to still keep it in with maybe she'll go into the bar and he'll be dealing with different customers less episodic but more storytelling because they've actually made it flow a lot nicer but i initially could go oh i remember this exactly because it's the bar the, the hotel scene it's nice because it sets the scene because you suddenly realize that there's more to being a bartender than you initially think the guy who has sent out the requirements has of course got very high requirements she's not exactly having an easy time and i like the fact that we go through a few different styles of bartenders as well and also get used to a few drinks quite off the bat things we're going to be dealing with a bit later on in the episode but it's certainly very very different now the first thing i noticed immediately was the bartender himself when he was on the bench he never seemingly left eden hall in the original he just lived there he, i don't think he ever actually left and went outside i think it's an interesting fact to actually have him a bit more present in the real world but i don't know if i like the personality thing he's very klutzy and i like of course i like the idea of him being a bit of a techno baby he doesn't know about phones or anything which is cute very bubbly uh, personality i think a lot of that is to go into the initial twist at the end where build up a idea of this guy and you think he's not actually going to really amount to anything so it's the idea of not judging the book by the cover so they want to make him appear very much different but then when he turns into bartender mode he's very very serious there's a lot of different bits in the episode initially little bits of story starting to pop in her going out and about with the other girl as a sidekick almost as a comic relief in this episode that was also new but i also appreciate having a bit more of a bounce because she's not on her own talking to herself because i think she did a lot of inner monologuing in the original but having actually having someone there physically to talk to is nice and we know that we're searching for this idea of the glass of the gods which we are told is really dependent on who's drinking it there isn't really a glass of the gods it really just depends on who's at the bar at what time because the guy who's hiring is going to have something very different in his mind when it comes to his idea of a glass from the gods the personality switch is definitely going to be one i'm going to be trying to get my head around because he was slightly quirky in the original but he wasn't this quirky 
I recognise the voice actor, but I haven't gone to the point of looking yet. So at some point I might have to have a little look. The initial reveal of him being a bartender is fun because it's also a very important sequence that we come back later where she's actually drinking the highball right there and then. If you're wondering why he knew to go for that drink, it's because initially she did actually have the highball at the bar and the guy was like, oh, you've left it too long because the ice has melted. It is very, very clever. And of course, it's all leaning into the idea of these guys are dismissing him. He might be a bartender, but I don't think he's going to be a good one. The big one, which for me was shocking, was the Eden Hall appearance itself. Now, originally, and I, I, I do like the original on this, the bar door for Eden Hall was wooden. It was slightly heavy and it was on purpose. It was made to be slightly heavy because you're meant to feel secure, like you're stepping into a different world, which is all that vibe, the atmosphere that they really build into in the original, which I really like. Now, I don't mind it being in a basement because it's still got that slight nice atmosphere of feeling a bit closed off, feeling a little bit out the way. The music is subtle. The lighting is all always very warm which is very clever it's meant to make you feel cozy i don't mind it it's, it's just a bit of a departure from what it used to be with a nice wooden door and it was on the high street people would just go in and to avoid the humdrum of their lives or just get away for even an hour they'd go in and it would feel closed off comfy which was the idea of the bar as he says it's a gentle perch it's supposed to be somewhere chill for you to relax and go in beverages that we've already seen in the show so I do keep it within the realms of you've seen this let's have it different we're going into the grasshopper this passes one of those tests immediately without him even realizing he's been tested by that point because he knows exactly the style that they were looking for in the hotel it's very nice to see him getting all those levels nice and neat and of course the different graphics making the drink look really really nice I don't actually know what's within it i I think originally they would mention what drinks went into the drink. I do hope they're keeping that because all the drinks that you see are something that you could perhaps recreate or at least you could go and ask for when you're out and about. It's weird he didn't mention what was going into the grasshopper, but he does mention things like the martini and of course he does mention what's going in on the highball at the end as well. I do hope they're keeping that aspect. That was a nice fun aspect he cares about his customers and very good customer services is able to please everybody the ability to provide they maybe ask for like a tall order he doesn't shy away from it so when she says i want the martini but he goes no you haven't eaten but i'll try and get you something that's within the realm but just lower which is very clever because he shows care for his uh, customer and also the fact that she wanted it pink and he's able to actually go there and get that pink now the girl is definitely adding that comic aspect because she was like oh his hands are kind of dreamy it's quite hot sexy we didn't have that in the original so i like that i think that is a nice take i can get behind adding a character if it benefits the plot if it adds something and it definitely adds a bit more of a this doesn't feel as stifled where it's just her on her own going about we've got somebody for her to physically talk to and they are quite funny as well so we do set up quite a nice bit of chemistry between the two going into setting up the challenge which is quite a fun one because you think that she's maybe setting a quite a tough challenge and you're like oh what's he gonna do she starts to lose interest when she sees that he's making a drink that she's had before but that's the whole point of the first episode you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover he literally took into account that he'd already seen her drinking the highball so he knew that she would naturally order it he did start to pick up on a few things and i do think for those who have got a low-key interest in things like sherlock holmes and the idea of deduction he does have that he, go he goes into little details as he says he knows she's tired he can see that she's not wearing her watch the same way he can see that one of her buttons has fallen off because she's quite not quite with it i like that he goes to the ability to take all these little bits and pieces into account and still produce a drink that it may look simple but it's never simple and as she says it literally tastes insane a highball but as it's supposed to it's delicious it tastes really really nice because the guy's gone to the efforts of working out how to make it maintain its flavor so there's lots of really nice little details the also the lighting the lighting coming off that drink dispersing off the drink and the ice beautiful the updated graphics doing the drinks justice which i really hoped would be the case because glass looks great anyway and if you can animate it just right it looks really nice because you've got a bit of a dispersing light rainbow kind of effect going on really like that it's also enhanced by the overhead lights of the bar lots of nice attention to detail but they did also keep in the best line and i do think this is the one of the more famous lines from the show that there are two professions out there that cannot lie and have to be honest to their customers and that essentially is a physician and of course the bartender because they deal in a substance that if you give just a bit too much it turns into a toxic poison I had a bit more of an eerie ring to it in the original but in this it just sounds a bit more honest this is a profession you can relax you can really rely on us because we can't mess up and if you really care you really can't mess up because alcohol is poisonous i'm glad they kept that line in 
but obviously we now roll happily into our credits. The credits are not much going on, but they are classic. They're quite vibey. It, it's gentle. It's meant to be closing down of the show and I think it carries the role quite nice. Everything feels cozy and close. Initially off the bat, a very different episode one to what I can remember. I do think it was a bit more perhaps storytelling, a little bit more enjoyable. I've got to see where it continues because I think they might just be slowing the pace down a bit because I do think the original was a bit too fast paced. This could be a good thing. The addition of an extra character I think really works. The changing of the persona of him, not sure yet, not set on it. The changing of the bar itself, I can live with it because you've still got the vibe within the actual place but you've definitely got rid of a few of those wooden effects on the doors and stuff. We'll have to see how that one goes but I can still get behind having the vibe because the vibe of the bar is still there. It still feels very homely. It feels very away from the crowd. It's supposed to be a place where you can go to relax which I think works. There's a lot of potential here. I'm definitely very impressed. I wasn't initially sold when somebody was like, oh, they're making a bartender again. I was like, oh, of all the shows that I could even think about that I really want to remake on, Bartender was never on the list. I actually don't mind the original. The original is nice to go back to once in a while. Let's remake another show. Let's remake this. Let's remake that. Maybe we could do Norigami another season. Hopefully, if they keep the narrative aspect there, they keep it all about people. I think you've probably still got a very good show on hands and making it a bit more storytelling as well probably makes it a bit more accessible to people. So looking forward to where it's going. If they are changing the pace a bit as well, the second episode, I don't actually remember where we're going. It's going to be new-ish to me because it's been 18 years since I watched episode two and on because we only broke down the first episode on the channel. Let me know in the comments below, I guess, what your favourite drink is. Let's go for it. I will see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye, guys.